I'm Ilya Marchenko. I'm Dennis Kudla. I'm Jesper de Jong. I'm Henry Laksa. I am Francisco Segundolo. And you're listening to the Game to Love podcast. Hey, welcome back, tennis fans. Had it on a loop. Oh, oopsie daisy. But we are here for Petula Kavitova versus Ange Jabur. Jabur. Oh, Kavitova's just held to love. So there you go. It's a good start. Go get it twice. <laughs> Why not? If you are just joining us, remember whack a like on this video and subscribe to Game to Love if you're new to the channel. Let me know if you got a notification as well for this match because I'm not sure if YouTube was pinging out notifications or not. We've been playing around with a few things on the channel, trying to upgrade and upgrade the experience. Sometimes YouTube just uh, doesn't like it. So let's get in with an early Kavitova button, I think. Yes, it's a, yes, it's a, yes, it's a, COVID over. Yes, it's a, yes, it's a, yes, it's a, COVID over. That's right. We got Capricorn in San Covitova for the win. Let me know your predictions in the live chat. I want to know how you see this match going. Get them in there now. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Ben, have these two ever played each other before? And if they have, what is the head-to-head? -head? Well, they've played each other four times before. And it is 3-1 in the head-to-head -head for Petra. Kovitova and but the last time they played Ons Jabur defeated her in straight sets and that was earlier this year so make of that what you will um I think it could play a factor Ons Jabur having the better year on the tennis tour that's for sure right okay so, oh, go with me one second. Turning around here. Where's it going? Where's the match? There it is. It's 30 or anyway on the Jabur. So if you're just joining us, remember to whack a like on this video. Come on. Subscribe to Game to Love if you're new to the channel as well. We're going to be taking you through all of Cincinnati. There's some big matches coming up later. We've got Emma Raducanu. And we've got Iga Sviantic. And we also got another match going on right now. Taylor Fritz versus Andre Rublev. And we've got a break point right now for Petra Kvitova. Wants to burst serving and she's double faulted. What a time to double fault. Terrible in our first break of the match. Get that Kvitova button. I'm gonna get that one. You can move it up the list. It's all the way down at the bottom at the minute. But yeah, let's just get it played a few times. I think. Let's get the get the vibes going. No, it's Thursday. But why not? Yes, it's a yes, it's a yes, it's a Kvitova. Yes, it's a yes, it's a yes, it's a Kvitova. Capricorn saying Petra has everything in her arsenal. Absolutely blow on off this particular court. And we've got Jean in. How are you doing, Jean? Saying Kvitova in two. Interesting. Let's have a look at some of their recent form. Ones to Burr. Hmm, before this uh, tournament and getting that win, it was a hard fought win against McNally. She lost to Kunwin Zhang. She lost to Kudamethova. Um, beat Madison Keys in San Jose. We've got JC Cornista in saying, Hi, Ben. I uh, just hit like. I'm number 14. Is that all? Come on, guys. Whack that like button. 
And subscribe if you're new. We've got Sam H in. Look at that. Back with the member next to your name. Great to have you in. Sorry. Commiserations. The Rafa last night. Uh, it was sad to see him exit, but he still did play quite well. Davor in saying, uh, yesterday was a great night. Is JG still hiding? Yeah, he's hiding somewhere. I don't know where he is. Good serving. That's another game to love for Kovitova. Two, two, good from the Czech. And a very good serving. And she's flying through this one so far. And there, Samson. I'm not that upset about Rafa losing. Saw some encouraging signs too. Yeah, I thought that Torek played really well, to be honest. I don't think that Rafa can be that disappointed. I mean, he was just coming back again from another injury. You can't expect him always to hit the ground running. But he still looked... Uh, some of the shots are incredible, as you'd expect. But I feel like Torrid maybe could be a threat in this tournament. Now he's the sort of he's cleared the pathway. I mean, we've got a few other people down that end of the draw. Interested to see who's in this draw for Kvitova or Dubur next. We'll play the winner of Tomjanovic versus Kudometova. And Tomjanovic, didn't they just play? Or am I just... No. Tomjanovic beat the Doza, sorry. And then Bagel, though. Yeah, it was embarrassing. Um, Kudometova, I was supposed to play Halep. And Halep pulled out of the tournament. And, yeah, Dean saying Rafa seemed a bit off, as expected. Capricorn confirming that Petra complained about the humidity and heat after her Monday match. So I'm assuming she loves it right now. 11 a.m. and not yet deadly hot and humid. Yeah, that sounds a bit nicer. But same for both competitors. Was it Kvitova knocked out Teichman, if I'm not much mistaken? I believe she faced match point in that one as well. In the second set, they managed to turn it around and then won the second set and then won the third set. Is that correct? Am I correct? I the stream doing the same thing it did with Raducanu yesterday. It's freezing. There we go, it's back again. Better. Been saying... Somebody has to do Alcaraz Chilic. I don't think anybody is doing Alcaraz Chilic, mate. Um, we've got Medvedev versus Shapo. That one's being covered at the moment by... Who's covering that one? Is it Harman? I think it might be Harman. Is it? No, it's Rublev Fritz being covered by David. Medvedev versus uh, Shapo is being covered by Harman. And that one's after this one. I'm getting confused. There's so many matches today. Lexus saying, I don't... Oh, how are you, how are you doing, Lexus saying? Uh, I don't feel like watching Rublev. Too many heartbreaks yesterday. I'll stay here with you. Probably wise. I mean, that's a, that could be a real uh, banana skin match. I feel that Fritz was playing really well. I think he's going to win that match, if I'm honest. I don't, I've not been that impressed with Rublev of late. I'm saying, imagine Tillich and Shapo both win today. I think it's possible. I think Tillich could. I don't know. He could do something. It's not outside the realm of possibility. Good on the hard court. Nice chop forehand there from Kvitova. Those cross court, getting Jabur running, and it is into the net, and it's almost a almost like a mirror image of the Radu Kanu match at the moment. Kvitova playing the role of Radu Kanu, uh, looking to go four love up here in this first set. If you're just joining, make sure you have liked the video and you have subscribed to the channel, whack the bell notification, and hopefully YouTube will notify you. Tell me in the live chat if you got notified for this match. Because if you didn't, 
then we need to have a word with YouTube. Yeah, let me know anyway. Mons de Burr serving. Got it back to Deuce. Oh, she thought it was an ace. She was already walking. It was called out. Second serve. No, it's a double fault, and she throws a racket at the floor. And it is what, from what she thought was an ace to a double fault. That is a uh, very, very much a fall from grace. There's advantage Kavitova. Been saying Badoza has fallen off. Yeah, I, I'd have to agree. Not looking very good at all. Second serves in. And Kvitova, oh my word, what a winner. How is it? And it is for love. Yes, it's her. Yes, it's her. Yes, it's her. Yes, it's her. Kvitova. Yes, it's her. Yes, it's her. Yes, it's her. Wow, I mean, Ons de Burr finding herself four love down here in this first set. She hasn't really got going yet. Kvitova seems to be relishing the fact she's got an early kickoff in this 11 o'clock sunshine rather than the later session. Maybe Jabur would have preferred this more searing heat from Tunisia. There's uh, Kvitova, maybe a bit too fair. And blocked back. And Kvitova hitting really well. Another inside-out forehand winner. Absolutely dominant in this first set. We've got Sam in saying, on still reeling from that Wimby loss. He just isn't giving the same vibes anymore. Yeah, I'm a little bit worried. Like, I've seen a lot of negative body language from Ons de Burr. Did get to speak to her at Wimbledon in person. And... My question, well, I, the question I posed to her is just about her positive attitude on the court and how everybody should try and harness their inner Ons de Burr. And right now, I don't think we're, we're really getting to see the Ons de Burr that we know and love. Being from back in, how are you doing? Saying, Ben, how do you think the Bedoza will do at the US Open? At the moment, if she has a good draw... Maybe like fourth round, Max. If she has a bad draw, maybe like second round, I'd say. But yeah, I don't really see a go. She might make the second week. I'm not sure at the moment. Just to really uh, buck her ideas up. All right. So a bit of a looking for a five-love lead. Trying to consolidate yet another break. A good serve, good slice return from the Burr. Oh, just long from uh, Kvitova there. And it is 40 30. I mean, still got another chance here to steal this one. He needs to get a first serve in. But the Burr under the pressure, which he doesn't seem to be relishing right now. There seem to be many people there watching these early matches. Everybody more enthralled by the, the late night ones. Like the Rafa Chorich. Good serve out wide. Back in play by Jabur. Good backhand from Kvitova. And it is into the net. And it is another consolidated break. <laughs> Five love. <laughs> Sam saying, can anyone hear background noise? Chanting, clapping, whistling. Yeah, I put on some back. Do you like it? Or do you want me to turn it off? Tell me if you want me to turn it off. I can turn it off. I thought I'd try and give you a little bit of atmosphere in the background. Make you feel like you're there. Chanting, <laughs> clapping and whistling. 
Uh, five love. I didn't expect this. I thought it would be a slightly more competitive match. We're only 14 minutes in. And we find ourselves five games in. And it is five love, though. Onska Burr barely even making a dent into Kvitova's service games. <laughs> I'd never heard it before. I thought it was on my phone. <laughs> Keep it on. Yeah, keeping me company. All of these. I can turn them up if you want. I think it's just a bit too much if it's too loud. I tried to put it in the background a bit. There you go. Oh, my God. Oh, flatten down, guys. Ew. Ew. Chill. Chill. I try and have them at like a little low level, like about there. And you can still hear me. Lexi, I didn't hear any. Come on. I think you need a hearing aid, Lexi. What's going on? Or maybe Sam just has super... Uh, I don't know what do we call it? super sensitive ears gene saying how was the rafa match um well it was a good quality match very competitive match rafa made some mistakes at vital times in the first set tie break and it cost him serve from jabur great return from kovitova and another winner. Ons Jabur doesn't really know where to turn to right now. Michael saying Jabur really making my bet go to waste. Hope you didn't put too much on, mate. Nice forehand of backhand rally. Kovitova just seems to have the power advantage. Jabur sort of angling the shots. She clips the net cord. And Kovitova, yeah, I mean, it just sat up so nicely for her she was able to just swipe it cross court yeah what sam saying that tb was a copy paste from the indian world's final sorry sorry that you're so upset about this uh it's nice to have you back but we'd like to see you back and happy at the same time sam <laughs> it's like so I couldn't pay attention because of Ben's beard. What was it that distracting? Oh, great passing shot from Jabur there. Kvitova sort of coming in on the wrong shot. Goes down into the corner, but not into the corner enough. And Jabur found the angle, and Petra's tall frame couldn't stoop low enough, quick enough. Jabur, nice inside out forehand winner this time from Jabur. Just hit a couple of winners. Just going to need more of them. Yeah, exactly. Sam saying, I'm fine, Ben. I knew it would be tough for Rafa on to New York with the Rafa remote. JG saying, What's that horrid background noise? I think it was you in the live chat. <laughs> That's what I thought it was. It's just a few of uh, my mates who come to join me on streams. <laughs> 40 30, Jabur serving. Oh, she's hit four double faults in this first set. It's not looking that good. Second serve, seeing. Kvitova absolutely well is it over the net. That's a good term. The backhand cross court. Jabur nearly does the splits. Backhand to Jabur's backhand. The forehand into the net. And finally on the board is Ons Jabur. <sighs> I don't think I can give you a button for just winning one game, but it's a start. <laughs> it's a start. She's on the board, but Kvitova will be serving for the breadstick here. In this first set. Sam saying, <laughs> Ben glowing. Must be peaceful to do a stream without JG. Ah, oh, it's nice to have him in. And his little fresh face. Little rotundness. Oh, great serve there. Uh, 
It is 15 love, Petra Kovitova. If you are just joining anyway, come on. GTL needs your help. We need likes on this video. So make sure you whack that like button and subscribe to the channel because we are trying to hit 50,000 subscribers. You can only do it with your help. Yes, you. I see you out there. Come on. Whack that like button. Oh, great angle from Jabur. Fantastic return. And Kvitova nearly tumbles over the advertising. JG saying, please stop the fat shaming. <laughs> I will join John. Oh, I thought it was going to be you and Sarthak with a new channel coming soon. And Lexi's talking about Ons Jabur. That's what we like to hear. Just wide with the first serve. Some of the other matches will go through at the end of this set, should it happen in, a, in this game. It's into the net from Kvitova, though. Not very good hitting at the moment. Yeah, not very impressed. Yeah, Michael saying Jabert isn't in form. <laughs> Lexi saying who's fat? Definitely not JG. At least not yet. Ah, so he's thinking he's got potential. <laughs> oh, great serve. Oh, it's just wide, apparently. Michael reckons that she could actually do a comeback. Yeah, looks like Kavita's level's dropping a little bit here. Can Jabur take the advantage good backhand cross court from Jabur here nice forehand Kvitova's not liking being given the run around it's wide two break points on Jabur 15 40 All right the western and southern open Cincinnati, as most people know it. What's their little low uh, slogan that they've got? I can't, couldn't read it. Jabur was blocking it. Misses the first serve. Kvitova, a big chance now for Jabur. Can't see it. Kvitova's head's blocking it now. Something behind you. Oh, good serve there. Nice forehand winner from Petra Kvitova. It says... Oh, put our financial strength behind you. Interesting. I don't really know what Western and Southern is. I'm guessing it must be... Uh... Oh, there you go. I'm guessing it's some sort of bank or... Something money-related, that's for sure. 30-40. Good serve down the tee. Backhand's great from Kovitovic. Too good. The break points have been saved, and it is juice. The chance of the comeback may be just disappearing now. Capricorn saying we all have the potential to be a chunk of Saurus. <laughs> Lex saying, because when JG joins, he talks about what he, uh, what he just ate, and the last time was four slices of cake. What? I know. There's a lot of cake in that household. Oh, clips the net cord there. Does Kvitova. Jabur didn't take advantage and she's sort of backpedaled and fallen over a bit there. And given set point, I'm not sure. She's just getting powered backwards by Kvitova's amazing ground shots. I don't think she really has an answer. Yeah, I'm not sure why she even went over there. Didn't even look like there was much momentum going backwards and great serve from Kvitova it is six games to one and uh, very convincing Jabur not very convincing at all and the bad run continuing it would seem very sad to see yes it's a yes it's a Yes, it's a COVID over. Yes, it's a. Yes, it's a. Yes, it's a. COVID over. COVID over.
Right. So, yeah, Lexi confirming that Arns love you, but this is Petra's. Seems like it is. And we've got Capricorn saying Petra's game was made for Wimbledon, uh, Australian Open, and Cincy. It's weird. She's never won Cincy yet. So you're suggesting this might be the time she wins it? Maybe. Oh, excuse me. I think it was just a bit of a late one last night. Not really recovered yet. But let's go around some of the other matches, see what's going on. We got Ribikina 4 1 up against Alison Risk, the Wimbledon champion. And we've got Taylor Fritz on serve with Andre Rublev. It is 3 all. Not, well, it will be in a second. 3 2. Rublev one point away from 3 all. They're the only matches that are going on right now. Sam Sands Emma match on late. Yeah, midnight in the UK. If you want to see Emma Raducanu. So I'll be going out after this match. And then hopefully I'll be back in time to join JG for Radu Kanu versus Jessica Bagula. Hopefully I'll be back for the start. If not, I'll definitely uh, I'll definitely be back within the I don't know first few games of the set. Have to hope that the travel getting home is okay. Everyone loving it sitting up there. On the uh, the real, the highest risers in Cincinnati. Todd saying Emma night session. That's correct. Matthew saying, Ben, with your beard, have you uh, thought of contacting men's grooming company uh, to sponsor GTL? Manscaped. Mm, we had Manscaped on uh, not too long ago. Yeah, we've had a few. Wow, nice forehand winner there from Kvitova. She continues where she left off in that first set. We've got Peaches in. How are you doing, Peaches? Good to have you in. All right. No Jabur button today. Good serve. No, it's not. Just long. Mons Jabur. Not the biggest fan of the Jabur outfit, I have to say. This Lotto one. Nice forehand from Kvitova. She's got Jabur on the run. Jabur's looped it up. Kvitova just keeps the rally going. Oh, clips the net cord. Oh, wow. It's a real stinker, that one. Just drops over the other side, and Jabur just rooted. Could never have got to that. When your chips are down... Someone comes along and kicks you. That's what Petra Kovitova's just done there with that net cord. Ooh. Good serve there from Jabur. Yeah, this match not really come to life whatsoever. <laughs> Capricorn St. Hans is like, I like what Vicar did yesterday. Yeah. I'm going to emulate that. Whoa. Good serve from Jabur. It's looped up from Kvitova. She has the height advantage, that's for sure. And she is pinging See some of these shots. But there's a little drop shot from Jabur. She goes slice. Oh, she went for a slice passing shot there across court. And Kvitova tried to volley it and then volleyed it wide. So a catalogue of errors from both players there. Lexi saying Emma has the best kit. Yeah, I agree. I think it looks great. Better than Rafa's? Not sure. Rafa's is pretty good. Oh, good one. Out wide. Kvitova, good forehand. And again, she comes into the net. Can she put it away? She does. Kvitova has now forced the juice. And Jabur just sort of strolling around the baseline, not really knowing what to do. Maybe she's searching for some answers back at the back of the court. Could have done with maybe the uh, the classic toilet break. Didn't choose to use it. Oh, wow. 
A backhand winner off the serve from Kvitova. It's an absolutely cracking backhand. And it goes, it catches the outside edge down the line. And Kvitova celebrates with a big fist pump. She's very happy with that one. Sets up break point and she gets a second serve to have a look at. So second serves in Kvitova. Oh, it skipped off the off the surface that second serve and Kvitova couldn't make a good connection into the net. So we got Matthew and saying, Ben, why do you think someone like Emma will attract? Will always attract a lot more buzz than Ribakina or Krajcikova? Is it a nationality thing? Hmm. Um. It could well be. Yeah, I think that they're. I don't know why that is. I don't think it's like it's. It's obviously a looks thing. We know that for sure. Um, but it's, it after the looks thing, it's definitely a nationality thing as well because you can't tell me like someone like Anna Kornikova if she was on tour and she managed to win a Grand Slam, she wouldn't be in the same position as like a Radu Kanu, if not more, like that type of thing. So. I don't think it's I don't think the nationality has too much to do with it. I mean it would it would help. I mean I think the fact that Radu Kanu has dual or even she's got just so many different like potential nationalities really. Like the born in Canada, the the being from Great Britain and obviously having Chinese mother and uh Romanian father. You just sort of got your your toe in every different water or every different pool and i feel that that helps as well i feel like cracking the asian market is always like an amazing thing you can do especially that she can speak the language as well that that's even more impressive obviously naomi osaka we see she has so much uh success with endorsements and stuff grand slam champion as well and i think sometimes that's that's what it takes. I mean, she has a very nice personality as well. I think that always helps very well spoken. It's similar to Osaka as well. Osaka may be slightly more shy, but she comes across very well. But Ange Jabur did get on the board while I was chatting away there. But thanks for the question anyway. Only 33 likes, says JG. Yeah, it's disappointing. Come on, whack the like on the video. I'm not very happy that there's only 33. I need at least 50. Come on. Come on. Don't get me angry. You don't want to see me when I'm angry. Yeah, Lexi confirming. Hit the like button. Right. Ooh, good serve from Kvitova out wide. Good backhand, and somehow Jabur keeps it in the court. And can she pass? She can. Brilliant forehand passing shot from Ons Jabur. The fist is clenched. Is this her moment to try and turn this match around? 15.30 on the Kvitova serve. we got Gary in saying, Hey, Ben. Hey, everyone. I speculated yesterday with Megan that maybe we already saw the best ons earlier this year. Wasn't my opinion. It's just a thought. Oh, that looked out. And Ons de Bird quest questioning it, but there's no line judges. This is just all done on an electronic system. So, and it does confirm that it did clip the back edge of the line. She requested the replay. There's not much you can do about it. It's... That's very, she'll be very disappointed, but it's just a really good shot from Kvitova. Clipped the back edge of the baseline. Todd saying this match has three sets written all over it. it may well do. Let's see how Ons Jabur does at the beginning of this second set. She looks like she's really started to turn it on a bit. That one is long from Kvitova. Is the level dropping? Just a touch. Hard to con well, con keep playing at that very, very high level. I think this cameraman just keeps zooming in on any any 
blonde lady in the crowd he zooms in on. You just see like, an, oh, oh, no, we're back to the tennis. And it just stops then. It's bizarre. You see his lens just going. These unsuspecting ladies. And there it is wide. And we've got a break early in this second set. Big winner there from Petra Kvitova, though. And it is Love 15 already in this Ange Jabeur service game. Wait for our scoreboard to update. Oh, she hits the net cord on the second. And it is 15 all. Not sure why our scoreboard is not updating. Come on, scoreboard. You can do it. I believe in you. Ace down the tee from Ons Jabur, 30 15. Yeah. Much better. Oh, a terrible first serve from Jabur. It does fly long. Scoreboard finally updating itself. It's 30 15. Second serve. Great return from Kavitova. Jabur with a great half volley on the. Uh, well, it was on the retreat, really. But the ball was behind her and she flicked it. And the fist pump there, you can see she's suddenly found a new lease of life. Kvitova, she really needed to, uh, I don't know, kick her while she was down, I feel. Sort of took her foot off the gas. And this is what happens. And there it is. It is a consolidated break for Ons Jabur. <laughs> Talking about Ange Jabeur. Gary saying, so all it took was for me to say that something not so great about Ons for her to wake up. Just goes to show the, the worldwide influence of GTL. That's right. Gary is stirring the pot, so to speak. And Ons Jabeur must know it. We've got... Uh, uh, Abdel Kader saying, please, Ons Jabur plays well when we put this song. Yeah, I think that, that she's reacted to the song. The buttons sometimes help. And once she's got that vibe, I just wish the crowd would get into it a bit more. Seems to be a bit dead. Um, Ribakina right now, 5-2 up against Alison Risk. And we've got Rublev and Fritz. 5-4 Fritz, but on serve still. We're only 39 minutes into this match, and we're already nearly halfway through the second set. So flying through this, will we be going to three? It looks like we could be. Good. Oh, it looked in, that serve, but apparently it was just long. If you do want to uh, help support the channel, then please... Either join our membership, join our Patreon, or if you want any player button of your choosing, send us a $5 uh, super chat or to the link that's pinned. Uh, I believe it's pinned in the live chat. I haven't checked. No, it's not pinned in the live chat. Okay. Or send it to this one, which is I've just put in the live chat. 
and you can get any player button of your choosing and you can get yourself or try and get to Gene, who's at the top of that leaderboard. And that will, will he be the winner for Cincinnati? I think he might be. We've got the US Open coming up soon, though, and that will be refreshed. See if we can get a Grand Slam champion. 15 all. Ribikina takes the first set against Alison Risk. We've got RW saying, this is Radia from Qatar. Go, go, go on. Please share the song in a separate video link. Love it. Thanks. Well, I really appreciate that, Radia. And tell me if I'm pronouncing that right. Yeah, maybe Amazon later. It's like Gary's confirmed, 7 p.m. local time. That'd be an exciting one against Jessica Pagula. Gonna, the tests only get stiffer for Emma Raducanu. Yep, you know, that's right, Sam. It's going to be midnight in the UK. Serve is in. Good return from Ons. Backhand to backhand rally. They're going down the middle of the court. It's long, and all of these amazing shots that Kvitova was hitting in the first set, they were just flying in as winners and now all flying long. Let's see how many likes are on the video. Only 39. I'm devastated. Let's try and get this up as close to 100 as possible. If you haven't already, whack a like on the video. We only need it for these pesky YouTube algorithms because they're trying to keep us down. But we will rise up through the rankings if you do press that like button and make sure to subscribe if you haven't done that nice rally here though backhand to backhand Jabur running and it is long and a big scream from Kvitova that means a lot she knows how hard it is to even get a game Ons doing to her what she did to Ons in that first set not allowing her a game Todd saying it bears repeating only Petra beats Petra Hmm, it's an interesting one, that. The, cr the crowd are getting a bit too overexcited. Thank you, players are ready. Fought down the middle of the service box. Second serve. Where's she going to put this one? Goes out wide. On Shabur, backhand return. Good backhand from Kvitova. And it is wide. And Kvitova on the board in this second set. Three games to one, though, to Jabur. Should be looking to get this one wrapped up. Hopefully, if she gets a four, the end of the set may come quick enough. We've got TT in San Bravo ons. Most definitely. All right, serving at 3-1. Still only on 39 likes, guys. Am I doing something wrong? It's no one no one likes me. <laughs> right, 15 love on Jabur. Oh, let first service. Oh, good serve down the tee. Great return from Kvitova there, though. Straight the feet of Ons, and it's into the net from Ons Jabur. She didn't really know where to go there. Gary saying 133 people watching. We need likes, everyone. Help us out. GTL will be grateful. We will be very, very grateful. As grateful as we are to all of our lovely members as well. It's lovely to have you all in. That one's long from Kvitova. 30-15. Can Ons get this to 4-1? That's the big question. Good serve. Back in play. Cross court. Oh, my word. What a winner from Kvitova. And Jabir wants to see a, 
a replay, but I think it landed right on the line. It was an incredible shot. Yeah, I mean, one of the best. So, such an amazing shot right into the corner. She apologized for it. I'm not sure why. The umpire's even confused. Great serve from Jabur. 40 30. Crowd really needs to start getting behind her a bit more. And go. One point away from 4 1. Serving. Oh, it was close to a double four. It's a great return from Kvitova. Oh, she's totally overcooked that one. And the drive volley running into the net. And it is 4 1. Ons Jabur. Go on, Ons. It's her, it's her, it's her. We're talking about Ons Jabur. Keep talking about Ons Jabur if she keeps winning matches. Otherwise, we won't keep talking about her. Let's have a look what other matches we're going to get treated to today. 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 Right, I'm just going to have a look. So, some of the other matches that will be on today. So on this court, next up, Daniel Medvedev, Denis Shapovalov. After Denis Shapovalov, Daniel Medvedev, we'll have Batista Agut versus Borna Cholic. And after Borna Cholic, the evening match, and that is Felix Oja Aliasim versus Yannick Sinner. And then finishing up with Sabalenka, Shelby Rogers. On the other court, Taylor Fritz and Rublev playing now. Eager versus Madison Keys. That will be next on after Rublev and Fritz. And then after that, you get Korda versus Isner. And then after that, Radu Kanu, Pagula. And to finish off, Chilich versus Alcaraz. Doesn't get much better for a finale, does it? Oh, into the net from Kvitova. It's Love 15. This match topsy-turvy as you like. Not sure what's happened to Petra Kvitova. It's not, not the same player. At first set, she just looks nearly unstoppable. Not sure what happened to her. Great serve, but Jabur's got it back in play. Yeah, nice second ball, though. Capricorn saying, I'd love Madison Keys to win today. No. We need Eager just to get back in the swing. Although I wouldn't be mad at hearing the Madison Keys button. Very popular one, that. Oh, just wide on the serve from Petr Kovitova. Petr Kovitova. Petr Kovitova. Serve into the Jabur forehand. It looked nearly out, that second serve, but just in. Oh, the drop shot from Jabur, and it's scooped up and long from Petra Kvitova. And it is 15-30. There's a big Tunisian fan in the crowd. A lot of fist pumps coming. All right, so Jabur, two points away from a 5-1 lead in this second set. Kovitova serves out wide. Good backhand, Jabur down the line. They are so powerful. It clipped the net cord, and the fact that it still flew past Jabur, that's how hard she's hitting. 30 all. And 
Lexi's saying, come on, Petula, I moved to Ribber and you're missing three points already. No. Oh, nice backhand return from Jabur. She's forcing Kvitova back, and that's a terrible backhand, and she knows it, slices it into the middle of the net. She's going to be so disappointed with that one. It's the opportunity for a break. Now she's going to have to do it the hard way. Fritz and Rublev look like they're destined for a tie break. Well, there you go. Kvitova does hold serve. 4-2. Jabur now serving to try and get herself to the magic five first. Yeah, I've got to go out in an hour. So I'm hoping timing should, will be okay. Fingers crossed. Still got to get ready before I go out. Oh, great return from Kvitova. Jabur slips over. Good serve down the tee. Oh. Love 30. Oh, long from Kvitova. She needed a cheap point there, Jabur. 15.30. We got Bill R in saying, hi, Ben. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to you, Bill. And Lexi's saying, how can you not like this stream? With the cool band <laughs> as your commentator. Got a fan on. Feeling I could be a lot cooler, though, to be honest. Still quite warm here. Even though it's not that sunny, it's still sitting in a room all day. It's not the best with loads of electronics turned on around you. Capricorn wants that break back from Petra. 30 all. Oh, it's just long. Serving Jabur. 40-30. She's really turned this game around from love 30. Down the line is a, too good from Kvitova. She screams at the top of her lungs. Getting frustrated now on Strabur. Capricorn saying, cool, Ben. AC, Ben. Northern Lights, Ben. Interesting. These like lyrics to a song. Serving out wide. Good forehand. And it's what oh, on Jabur. She's missed that one. She's in danger of giving this break that she worked so hard to get, giving it away to Petra Kvitova here. And it's only herself to blame, really. Whereas Kvitova went off the boil. Now, looks like Jabur, but there's a good serve and it is long. We got JG saying brand Ben. Yeah, that's my new name. <laughs> JG saying three hour classic. Not quite at the uh, one hour mark yet. Oh, good hit in here from Kvitova. It's another break point opportunity. Yeah, I might have to get Harman in to see if he can cover the end of the match. Oh, good serve down the tee from Jabur. Forehand 
It's good. Kvitova somehow keeping the ball alive. And now she's back in the rally. Jabur down the line. Kvitova keeps that one alive. She's moving Kvitova around well, but that's a great backhand from Kvitova. It's a drop shot over the net. And there it is. It's a great winner from Petra Kvitova. She played defense. Then she went attack. And we're back on serve. Yes, it's her. Yes, it's her. Yes, it's her. Yes, it's her. Kvitova. Yes, it's a, yes, it's a, yes, it's a. Well, well, well. Back on serve after all that. She was 4 1 up. Now back to 4 3. Sam sums it up there. Ons. <laughs> Most definitely. And cheers for that. Harman must be watching because he's already <laughs> messaged me saying he can cover the end of the match if needed. Very kind of him. I'm sure he's listening, but I'll message him just to say thanks. Yeah, well, you're never sure with these ones that they could. I mean, this one could be over in two, though. You never know. Um, we still have, well, still have a good few games left in this second set. Oh, here we go. We got Lexi saying, Rublev. Hang on, Ben. One of my boys need me. <laughs> You're off. 5-1 in the tie break for Andre Rublev. It's pretty impressive. And then we've got Alison Risk trying to turn the match around against Ribikina. She's up a break in the second set. That's down one set to love. Lost the first set. Six games to two. Oh, and there's a big Shadow been cast over the court right now. Kvitova serving, second serve. And now nah, that's miles wide from Kvitova's backhand. Seems to be some in, some out. There's not a lot of consistency at the moment, but just enough. To, to get her back into the match and that's all that really matters all right love 15 great serve it's an ace from kvitova there goes out wide still only on 47 likes on the video if you haven't already whack a like on this video come on i want to get to 100 i need it it's part and parcel of life these days 100 likes should be mandatory on every single stream just misses the first serve down the tee second serve second serve is gonna go sort of down the middle but nice backhand oh it's clipped the baseline and Jabur's shot doesn't make it over the net and she just looks at the line. She's looking at the lines a bit too much for my liking. Sort of, she wants too many replays of shots that are obviously in because there are no line judges. We're waiting for the replay, but they're not showing it. All this is doing is just delaying matters. It's definitely in. Yeah, it does show it was in starting to bug me with these replay requests oh she goes back down the middle nons jabur tries a spinning backhand uh attempt there i've not seen many of those attempted in my lifetime if she'd have connected with that and it would have gone in then it probably would have been shot of all time Kvitova serving, trying to get us to four all. It's a good serve. The backhand, she goes down the line. Jabur passes her, though, with a brilliant passing shot. Kvitova tried, didn't make her mind up. 
she was sort of waiting for Jabur to hint which side she was going to go. She guessed right and then managed to pass. Good angles, but still 40-30. Rubikina in the other match trying to break straight back. Great serve there from Kvitova. Good return from Jabur inside that forehand. It's chopped back into play. Kvitova forehand, but the slice drop shot. She brings Kvitova in. It's a poor drop shot, and we are back at four games apiece now. And it is, well, it's going to be the business end. <laughs> And it is a consolidation. Right, well, let me know in the live chat right now who wins this next game. Does Jabur hold? Or does she get broken? Tell me in the live chat now. Sorry, but... There's part of me that thinks that she might get broken. I don't know why. I feel like the momentum is with Kovitova at the moment. Interested to know what you guys think. Yeah, Bill saying players use the replay request to catch their breath. Good tactic. I'll use that next time I play JG. Bill reckons broken. Four hands good. Jabur chops it just over the net. Nice slice from Kvitova. Whoa, what a backhand winner there. She's constantly apologizing for hitting winners in this match, Kvitova. It's very strange. And they don't look like miss hits. But they're, oh, it's on the outside edge of the line. I mean, I'm not, that's an amazing shot. I don't think there's any reason to apologize for that. Just misses the first serve there. Ons. Sam saying, tough one. As Jabur shown spells of her old self, but she may get broken. And it's a double fault. Oh, dear. 15-30. Yeah, Todd saying, Kavita's momentum always contingent on winner-error ratio. Yes. Quite right. Nice forehand from Jabur there. Kvitova hanging in this rally. Inside out forehand from Jabur. Kvitova's looped it up. She's got it back in and she's run all the way to the other side for some reason. Didn't even choose just to go to the tee. And Jabur just easily smashed it into the open court. Seemed like a weird decision. Just a sprint all the way to the other side. 30 all. Good serve from Jabur. Kvitova, good backhand. She comes to the net. She's passed. She hasn't done too well at the net today, I have to say. What am I doing with this water? Oh. 40-30. Bill saying, I'm pulling a JG now. I say hold. <laughs> I like it. Oh, my word. What a winner off of the second serve from Kvitova. I mean, it sort of just bounced up and she just walloped it away. Nothing you can do about that. 77 mile an hour second serve. Juice. Kvitova still believes she can just get this done in two games. Oh, it's a good serve from Jabur. Miss hit from Kvitova. Advantage Jabur. There we go. Can she get to five? Making hard work of this. Real hard work. Gets it in, down the tee. Backhand to backhand. Oh, it's a great shot. But Jabur looks like she's going to be able to pass her. She does. And there you go. Ons Jabur gets to five. Stops the rot. 
and she could well take this set. Who knows? It's her, it's her, it's her. We're talking about Aunt Jabur. JG lurking in the live chat. Watch it, Bill. And Bill with a quick apology there. Todd saying tiebreaker, anyone? Hmm, maybe. Not sure. Still, anything can happen in this match. Rublev took the tiebreak in the uh, match against Fritz. He's one set up. And they're back on serve, Risk and Ribekina. To see how they get on as that match progresses. Here she comes. If she manages to break Petra Kovitova here, then we're going to three. Crowd, a lot of colorful hats in the crowd. A few tie-dyes in there. A lot of pinks. He's doing it again. This cameraman keeps zooming in on that same woman. Literally, she doesn't doesn't catch a break. All right, Kovitova. Serving at 4-5. Serving to stay in the set. Just misses the first serve. Second serve is as a double fault. It's the first one we've seen. Pressure getting to Petra Kovitova. I know some people probably don't like me so calling her that. Kovitova. Kovitova. Petra Kovitova. Good return from Jabur. Oh, it's just wide. Just wide from Jabur. Not good enough. Seem to be zooming in on a lot of people. It's a bit unfair how how good the zoom is on these cameras. They literally zoom right in close on your face and you don't even know it. All right, second serve. Kovitova. Of return from Jabur. She's hooked that one wide though, and it is 30 15 Kavitova. She's sort of calming herself down now, taking her time. Just needs to pull out some good serves here, force it to 5 5, and then see if Ons Jabur cracks first. She could still win this in two. She's got to keep the hope. A bit of a serve in. Second serve. It's a double fault again. I mean, the serve's not looked good in this service game. Looks very nervous. Tentative. Bill saying, as a true Canadian, I always have to say sorry. Now, that is a big thing about Canadians, isn't it? Interesting. An apologetic nation. Second serve for Kavitova here. This one's in. Backhand to the forehand of Jabur. Jabur really starting to... Yeah, she's starting to put a bit more power, and she's got break point. And it's not only break point, it's set point. Big. Uh, the nerves of Kvitova are not helping her. And Jabur is taking advantage now. Set point. Set 
Serve is in down the tee. Block back in play. Backhand. It looked long to me. And Jabur is saying, like, I, I want to see a replay, but I know what she means. They fly so quick. That one looks, if it's in, it's surely only just in. It looks so close to the line. No, it's bang on the line. Jabur's going to be thinking there's some sort of conspiracy going on. The amount of times that she's asked for a replay, it's juice though. Set point disappears. And there's a good serve and it's into the net and set point miles away right now. There's Kovitova serving for a 5-5 five, five scoreline. We've got Icana in saying, talking about Ons, Jabur, Jabur, Jabur. <laughs> good serve. It's blocked. Oh, it's back in on the baseline. And that one is long. And Jabur didn't request a replay on that one. All right. Deuce. Kovitova serving. Great serve out wide. Blocked back into play, though. Jabur down the line. Kovitova cross court. Drop shot. Jabur. Kovitova gets there. Can she play into the open court? She can. It's set point again. Really good play from Jabur there. The drop shot set up the winner. Quite fantastic. Yeah, brilliant backhand slice volley. And Kovitova even has to applaud that one. Set point. Here she comes. Great serve from Kovitova. Save set point. Big roar from her. Back to Deuce. This seems like one of those games. It's going to sway the entire match if Ons Jabur wins it. She did the splits nearly there after that shot. Back to Deuce. Ice down the tee. Too good. She's got that in her locker. Gene in saying, I'm so torn. I love both players. Hard not to, really. If you're just joining us, please remember to whack a like on the video. Subscribe to Game to Love if you're new to the channel. And join us for a lot of other matches that will be coming up later. We've got Iga coming up. We've got Radu Kanu coming up. Plenty more tennis to play. Advantage, Kvitova. Serves in. Good backhand. Goes down. Oh, it's so it's poor from Kvitova. As soon as she tenses up on these game points and it's back to Juice again. Right, Juice. Oh, let the serve. Oh, good serve down the tee. Jabur inside out forehand. Backhand down the line. Cross court. Oh, it's a great shot from Kvitova and Jabur's thrown a racket. She's getting frustrated. Kvitova's not going away. Right, advantage Kvitova. Taylor Fritz has just gone up a break in the other match in the second set. Kvitova 
Oh, it's wide from Kvitova. She's missed again. And it is deuce again. In this game, I'd love to know how long it's lasted. Seems that we are, well, what number deuce are we on? One, two, three, four. This is the fifth deuce. Oh, great serve from Kvitova there. And it is advantage her again. She just seems to do well on the deuce side. Just terrible on the ad side every time. Unless she's facing set point, then she does great. She is skiing from back saying, come on, everyone. Hit that like button. Do it for GTL. Do it for Ben. And that spot on commentating. That's very kind of you. Skiing from back. The drop shot from Jabur. I think she's missed that one as well. She has. What are you doing, Petra? Seems that, every, that the opportunities are there. Finish it. Just running in and she just misses it. go it is a set point again well this is normally where Kvitova pulls out like a an ace or a good serve now set point number three Ons Jabur has she got this in the bag great serve Good return. It's into the net, and Ons Jabur does have the second set. It's one set. Oh, wow. It's her, it's her, it's her. We're talking about Ons Jabur. That's a good example. What happens if you don't take your chances? Kvitova had multiple opportunities there to hold serve, and she didn't take any of them. She fired wide or long about four or five times in that very game, and Onstrabur just stuck in there. She didn't really have to do too much in the end. It was all more Kvitova that made the errors and gave her that second set. I mean, Anjouba was sort of throwing it away a bit. She was 4-1 up. The fact that she allowed her back to 4-4. But there you go. 6-4 in the end. Uh, in the other match, Fritz looks like he could be taking that next match to three sets. It is 2-1. 40-15 in the second set. And looks like Ribakina's on sir, but 4-3 up. Hans Jabur, nearly ready. She's nearly ready to get going again. Don't know if there's been any toilet breaks. I don't believe so. Not from what I can see. How many likes we got? 56. Still terrible. Come on. 44. 44 more. And I can press the special 100 likes button. You're denying me the 100 likes button. Uh, it makes me very sad inside. Part of my soul is dying. Well, I need tri triple digits. All right, let's see what else is going on in the tennis world. We had Corder defeat TFO last night. That was a good result. Corder marches on. Long may it continue. Oh, I've no. So Kvitova did go off court. Said that she's got two minutes remaining. 
Yeah, selling arms that, yeah, two minutes now with the changeover. So I'm guessing Kvitova will get warned if she doesn't get back on court and ready after that two minutes. And we got uh, Abdel Kader saying, Congrats for OJ. The game is very hard. Kvitova does make it back out onto the court. Right, let's get some predictions for your third set scoreline. Come on, throw them in the live chat now. I want to see which way you're going to go with this. Good serve, and it is long from Kvitova there. 15 all. Serve into the net from Jabur there. We got Todd's going 6 4 in the third for Ons. On 7 5, saying Hamdi. Bill just hoping the old Chapo turns up against Medi. It's not really what I was asking, was it, Bill? Come on. Asking about this match. Yeah. It's, it's a very tough one to call, to be honest. I'll go Ons. Ons. Six. Oh, I don't know. It's tough. Six three. There you go. Hard to call. Don't know how it's going to go. Wow, Kvitova, great winner. Jabur. Oh, my God. How many replays is Jabur going to request today? It's literally ridiculous. <laughs> Todd Hill saying, Ben, don't make Bill apologize again. <laughs> Sorry. It's all right, Bill. Apology accepted, see? This is what happens if you're nice and you apologize. Everyone accepts it. Everyone moves on. You've got to learn a bit from Bill. Nice forehand there from Kvitova. She does break early in this third set. Yes, it's her. Yes, it's her. Yes, it's her. Yes, it's her. Kvitova. Yes, it's her. Yes, it's her. Yes, it's her. Kvitova. Kvitova. Ah. Ah. Kvitova. Yes, it's a. Yes, it's a. Yes, it's a. Kvitova. Bill going 7 6 Petra. It's been a weird old match, this one. I really have no clue who will win. Seems like one second. Kvitova looks amazing. The next second, she looks terrible. Ons Jabur sort of been fluctuating similar with slightly less regularity. 
<laughs> bit out. So let's wait a couple more games, then get JG's prediction. Oh, he's never going to let it rest. Oh, Bull Kid tried to chase after that one. It sort of bounced off the clock face. Second serves in. Terrible from Jabur. Goes miles wide. That is 30 love. All right, 30 love. Oh, a nice forehand winner down the line from Kvitova. Really stepped into that one. 40 love. Feel, feel like she's, really, she's rediscovered her first set form. Good serve. Block back into play. Jabur. Oh, good shot. Good volley from Kvitova. Clips the net cord. Goes wide. And it is a game to love. She's done it again. Yes, it's a... Uh, yes, it's a... Uh... Yes, it's a COVID over. Yes, it's a. Yes, it's a. Yes, it's a. We've gone back to the first set again. Oh, just misses the first serve, Jabur. Second serve now for Kvitova to look at. Oh, it's a double fault. It's love 30. Jabur back to what she was doing all the way back in that first set. It's just not good at all. More double faults. I think it's the sixth one. She just fired off of her racket there. Good serve. Good return. It's into the net. It's love 40. Got uh, Abdul Kader saying, OJ, very nervous. Ribakin has managed to turn it all around. She's taken it in straight sets. And that one's wide. And it's another game to love. It's a break to love this time. Right, uh, JG's going to be joining in just a second. Just while this changeover, I have to nip out. Uh, I'll put some lovely music for you to listen to, though, whilst I'm uh, gone. But don't worry, there will be someone else here in a minute.
Hello, guys. Sorry about the wait. Um, at least you got some lovely music. Let me just ensure the mic's on. That should be better. And here I am to finish off this match. I mean, it's ridiculous. I don't think I've ever done <laughs> this little amount of a match. But unfortunately, Ben was unable to finish it because he had other plans, which is fair enough. Um, and well, yeah, we didn't anticipate it. Well, I thought I thought that I was going to be here. He wasn't sure. But I'm here now to finish this match off. And I don't think we're going to see much of a match because it is for love Kvitova. And she's looking for a breadstick. Or, no, potentially a bagel even. If she breaks here, oh, we don't know though, because Jabur just saves the break point. Let me try and get up the stream. I've not watched much of the match because I was out a second ago. Um, but I am not surprised Kvitova's winning. I don't fancy Jabur's chances at Cincinnati and also the US Open, which is coming up. I just... Don't think she plays so well on this surface this time of year. And I think this is exactly what's happening. I mean, she's not playing great and Kvitova is beating her quite easily. Shout out to everyone in the live chat who did stick around. Good save there of the break point. Big serve from Ons Jabur. But let me know, guys, because you probably know more, more than me from this match. What has been going wrong for Ons Jabur? What is the reason... For her getting beaten so comfortably. Lexi's asking where Ben is. He had another plan. So unfortunately he was unable to make the end of this one. Uh, I wasn't expecting it like that. But it is what, is what it is. And I am here now. Maybe uh, I'll just share the score as well. So Ben can uh, not have to worry about that. Oh, there we go. Big roar from Kovitova. And I probably won't even need to bother because she is going to be here serving for the match and a place in the next round. Easy. Easy third set. Where's the button? Do we have a button for Kvitova? The thing is, Ben's added so many buttons. I mean, I have to scroll through all of them. Here it is. Yes, it's a yes, it's a yes, it's a COVID over. Yes, it's a yes, it's a yes, it's a COVID over. Yes, it is her COVID over. Just like that, five love. She had chances as well in the second set. She was down a break, managed to get it back and then got broken right at the end. And this third set has been pretty much like the first, just one-way traffic and she's demolished on Jabur. I was going to just pull up who she'd be playing in the next round uh, because I can't seem to remember. But why I just find that, let's just talk about some of the other results. We've had Tomjanovic defeating Badoza. Not sure if there's an injury involved there because the second set was a bagel and the third set a uh, 6-2. It just seems at the moment on the women's, there's so many lopsided scorelines. Like, I've never seen so many bagels and breadsticks. And Radu Kanu sort of leading the charge of that. But let's pull up the draw because with the draw... The winner of this match will be playing the winner of Tom Janovic Kudometova. Okay. So the winner of this plays the winner of Tom Janovic Kudometova. Yeah, and that Tom Janovic one. Was that actually played last night? I think it was. That's insane. I did not see that. One-sided. We've got Faizan in saying, what is going on with Vons? I mean, I'm not the right person to to answer that because I've not watched enough of this match to pass judgment. But I'm not that surprised. I didn't expect her to do very well. And I don't expect her to do well at the US Open. But maybe that's just me. I just don't think it suits her too too well. Um, I think uh, brilliant on the grass. Not too bad on the clay. But the hard courts, room for improvement for sure. And Kvitova, when she is on as well, that is another factor. She can beat everyone. She she could make us a shock, um, a shock route all the way to the final here, Kvitova. 
Looks like she's serving well as well. That's a really good serve. Oh, what a shot. Back in behind on Jabur. She didn't even attempt to get it. And it's 15 love. Is it going to be a quick hold of serve to take the match and the bagel? Davos in. Oh, I knew he would be in. To give me some heat. Saying, hey, JG, ready for Rafa watch along later today. Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> We do have Alcaraz, though, Davor, playing Chilich. I'm sure you'll be watching that one. But, yeah, fair play. Your guy, Torich, did the business over Rafa. I'm still a little bit upset about that. But I don't I don't think it's all... Um, it's no need to be too concerned and worried. People getting a little bit... Going a little bit overboard with the loss. I expect him in three weeks' time at the US Open um, to be playing a lot different. So yeah, let's not let's just everyone steady on with that. Uh, Force a bus and hey JG Rafa's match was very late in India, so couldn't join. Are there any concerns? I saw a four minute highlight, but his serve speeds were were not worrying. Listen, don't I? I personally am not worried. I really am not. He didn't look good. There were spells of some good shots, a nice passing shot forehand I saw from him. Just it wasn't it wasn't trademark Rafa, but then this whole year I feel if you look at the beginning of the year before he played Australia and then other events, there was a few spells in that way he didn't look very good at all. And I mean, even in the exhibition he played against, I think Shapovalov and Andy Murray, both of them just smashed him. And I know it's an exhibition, but still we've seen signs of this this whole this whole year, like little little spells. But then when it gets to the Grand Slam season, he's been pretty much unbeatable. I mean, Australian Open won it, Roland Garros won it, Wimbledon didn't lose a match, had to pull out. So, yeah, let's steady on. I think US Open is going to just do just fine. People forget that. He's not lost a match, really, at, at a Grand Slam this year. James saying, what a horrible result. I woke up this morning. Yeah, I didn't see it live either. Was a bit upset. Uh, Bill asking about my prediction for Radu Pagul. I think Radu wins. Listen, Radu Kanu. I, I'm, I know I've been a big critic of her. I, I'll be honest with that. I have been a big critic. Um, but I can say it as it is. And right now, the way she's playing, looking really good. And she has a great chance at the US Open. Uh, but back to the match, because it is match point. Ace out wide from Kvitova. And it's match point time. Match point. She misses the first serve on match point. Looking for a bagel, just like Radu Kanu yesterday and the day before. Can she get it done? Second serve coming up for her. Second serves in to the backhand of Ons Jabour. It's a really crafty angle. Gets it back in play. Is she going to finish it off? Yes, she does. And she saves the match point. We're back to juice. Yeah, I'm, listen, I'm really blown away by Radu Kanu. Rafa, I'm encouraged by still. I'm not, I'm not negative at all. And I'm really looking forward to the US Open. I really am. We don't know what's happening with Djokovic. The more, like, I thought we'd have an idea by now. He's still on all the bookmakers' exchanges, one of the favourites to win. They've not dropped him out. He's still on the entry list, I believe. But I don't know if he's going to be able to play. So, yeah, headache. <laughs> really is. Uh, Gary, they're saying, JG, there was nothing out of the ordinary with Rafa. Chorich would have beaten most, most uh, everyone with his level of play. Quite impressive. Yeah, Chorich, more than capable, really good player. I did think it was going to be tricky for Rafa drawing him in the first round, but I still thought he would have had a bit too much, but what do I know? Torich impressed me, and in a way, I hope Torich now goes on a run because I think it looks better for Rafa. <laughs> Here we go. Nice volley at the net. She moved Jabur around from left to right and generates a second match point. Match point. Yeah, really good. On Jabur, not moving very well. Seems very slow covering uh, covering from side from the backhand co corner, especially. Um, yeah, I think even both sides, really. She's not getting to the lines quick enough. Wonder if it's um, she's struggling physically a little bit. 
Let's have a look. Oh, big backhand, but it isn't the winner she wanted. It is just long, and we're at juice again. She's struggling here, Kvitova, just to get this over the line, but she's got a few opportunities yet. I mean, if she even if she gets broken, I can't see on the coming back. But great that she's fighting and showing, digging her heels in a little bit here. Makes it interesting. First serve misses. That's a good serve. We're into, is she going to be able to get another match point? Yes, she does. Ons Jabur slips, tries to find the line. It goes long. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be a third match point for Kvitova. Yeah, and for those talking in the live chat, Chorich now has a positive head-to-head -head against Rafael Nadal. He leads it 3-2. Hopefully, they can meet at the US Open and Rafa levels it up. But then, in a way, I don't want him to meet at the US Open because now Chorich is on the my little black book and I don't want him anywhere near Rafa. Wee, just like that. She gets it done. Big serve. Ons Jabur into the net. And it is the bagel we was expecting. Kvitova took a few tries at it, but eventually gets it done and wins the match. 6-1, love. Yes, it's a, yes, it's a, yes, it's a, Kvitova. Yes, it's a, yes, it's a, Yes, it's a COVID over. Yes, it's a COVID over. And there we go. My stream's moved to Shang Contavi. I think that is a match that will be kicking off very soon. But thank you for joining Ben on this one. I did make a little cameo at the end, but pretty much Ben for most of it. Shout out to him. Shout out to Kavitova. Looking good. Uh, I like her draw as well. I think it, she has some winnable matches coming up. Tomjanovic or Kudometova, I fancy her in that one. Uh, but she is at the top of the draw, so potentially could be looking at uh, an Iga or a Ribikina in the semis, which is, of course, always going to be tough. But Kvitova playing like this has a chance to win Cincinnati before the US Open, which I think we need. We need an experienced head going into the US Open, playing well and feared by some because right now the young guns in Emma Raducanu is, I don't know, seems like the big threat at the moment. But uh, that's my thoughts on it all. We'll be bringing you another match later on and that will be Raducanu at midnight. So make sure to join us for that. That'll be me and Ben. We'll also have some news videos going out as well. So go check them out. But for now, I love you and leave you and see you very soon. Make sure if you haven't already, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new and we'll see you later on. Adiós.